Hi, it's Melissa again. I'm going to show you now a front wrap cross carry with a woven wrap and a preemie who's on a monitor. So I have my wrap. This is actually a size 7. Um, my base size is anywhere from a 6 to a size 7. I am 5 foot 1, about 145 pounds right now. Um, whatever your base size is is usually what wrap you would use for a wool front wrap cross carry. Um, you can tie this in the back, or I like to be able to have enough length to bring it back around in front and tie underneath. Um, but that's kind of personal preference. This is actually a Pavo Textiles uh, giraffe. Um, so again, I'm going to take my woven wrap. I have my middle marker right here. Put that right in the center of my chest. I'm going to bring that back behind me. And I take the top two rails here. Bring those back up over my shoulders. As so, the tendency is that your shirt's going to creep up on you. So I like to pull that back down. So at this point I have my woven wrap. It's wrapped around me. I've got my two rails coming up over the top. Let's pull this up a little bit here. Baby's going to go right inside here. So I take Sephora. And again, this is Sephora. She's about eight and a half pounds now. When I first started wearing her in a woven wrap, she was still in the NICU. About three and a half pounds, and when I brought her home, she was around four pounds. Um, she is on a monitor for demonstration purposes, mostly only at night now, but for the sake of these videos, I am showing you how to use these with the baby on the monitor. So I have my nice little pocket right here that goes across my chest. I'm going to put Sephora up on my shoulders and put both of her feet into this chest pass. And I reach through the bottom and pull both of her feet out, actually. I pull this up to about the back of her ear level to help support her head. And I grab this fabric, I lean forward, and I like to tuck that up in between the two of us. One thing you can even do is you can reach in between and pull some of this fabric up. So you can see I've got this fabric right here. Pull that up to make a nice deep seat for her to be sitting in. And make sure her feet come out. Right here are her monitor leads. Again, I like to tuck those in as much as I can to have just the wire pulling down as opposed to the leads. I found that sometimes the leads would get disconnected if it was hanging down this way. So I have my leads tucked nice and deep in there. And then I start tightening my wrap. I like to pull from the inside first and then the outside. And then I grab the inside part in the middle. Again, I pull from the inside like this. That tightens my top. The outside tightens the foot part that comes down on below and then again the inside here and I kind of like to hold on here give it a nice little tug and pull nice and tight here you can see both of her feet are out again a normal newborn or normal preemie would more be having their feet bunched up in front of you but chest to chest she is a little bit older and is able to straddle me at this point so with my wrap nice and securely tightened I take this first one it's easy if you can actually kind of pinch this one behind your knees you take this one here, you're going to go over the first foot. And actually, it's easier if you bring this one behind. Over the first foot, under her second foot. Sometimes with preemies, if your wrap is a little bit thicker, it is going to be easier to go over both feet. This fabric here is trapped, and what's happening is that that can actually kind of bend her leg a little bit. So I do sometimes like to go over with a wrap that's a little bit thicker. This one is pretty thin, so I do tuck it under her foot. And come back around and hold this one between my legs. Now I just make sure that I haven't lost any tension and tightness. Give this a little snug. My monitor leads are right here. I'm just being mindful of those to have them a little bit out of the way as I'm wrapping so those don't get tangled. So again, I'm going to go over the first foot, under that second little foot, and bring this back around. At this point, if my wrap was shorter, I could tie right behind my back, but I like to bring it back around in front. I try to keep my leads over at this point. And then I tie this off right here. One little trick that I have done is I brought this down after my first half knot, the monitor wire, and then I bring this and I do incorporate that into my second knot just so that I know exactly where it is and it's not flopping around anywhere. And I have that right there. So this is a front wrap cross carry with bunched passes. This wrap is quite thick. Again, with a stretchy wrap, you would never want to do anything like this because that single layer of fabric over the baby's body wouldn't be enough support. And this is a front wrap cross carry and a woven wrap with a preemie who is on a monitor. Thank you very much.